I'm here with a full house this morning. Chef Atul Kocha, Gabby Roslin, Lydia from The Only Ways Essex and our vet Zara Boland are here. And we're going to be putting together an alternative Christmas starter in just a moment. But first, the new National Breeding Centre for Guide Dogs has recently opened its doors. They make it their mission to provide a doggy mate who will help guide blind people with comfort and security. And it only opened last month, but already it's got some star pupils. We sent Louise Holland to meet the new pack of puppies being trained up. The four and a half thousand guide dogs in the UK provide invaluable support for their owners. So today I'm going to learn about the intensive training dogs receive before they get assigned to their owners. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Debbie Harris is a trainer at the Guide Dogs Training School in Leamington Spa. A guide dog needs to be uh, willing, responsive, have good nature uh, and good social behaviours. Earlier today, I visited a new guide dog breeding facility. So why do we have to breed um, specific dogs? Surely any dog can be a guide dog? Well, not really. All our blind and partially sighted people they have very special and particular needs, and these puppies hopefully will grow up and, and display all the sorts of things that we need, like confidence, adaptability, willingness, etc. Our success rate um, varies between 70 and 75 percent, so this year we're breeding um, 1,350 puppies, so a vast majority of them will go on and become guide dogs. And then um, how long will these puppies stay here now they're with you? Well, these particular ones have actually been born here at the centre, um, so they're here until about seven weeks of age, and then they'll go on to the next stage of their journey, onto their puppy walking families. We train the dogs um, by teaching them to negotiate around obstacles such as lampposts, bins, parked cars on the pavements. We also teach them to cross roads safely. Once fully trained, the guide dog is expected to work for about seven years. Um, once they've finished working as a guide dog, they become retired. It costs around about £50,000 for the lifespan of a guide dog. Um, the main reasons being food bills, vet bills and the cost of training the guide dog. Up. Hello, Kempi. You are lovely. So I'm going to get you to do a blindfold walk going up the obstacle course and it's to give you an experience what it might feel like to work a dog um, just as it is for a guide dog owner. So right foot back and swing your arm and say forward. Forward. Keep following and it's going. Oh my god! <laughs> So impressed. They do such amazing work. It's really quite humbling. It's brilliant. Bev Muldoon has used a guide dog for 16 years. Well, I'm Bev Muldoon, and this is my guide dog, Fifi. Apart from going to the shops, Fifi can um, we can use trains, we can use buses. Um, she can take me to find lifts, and just day to day finding routes. And can you imagine your life without Fifi? No, <laughs> no, and um, I've. Well, I wouldn't go out. I would, I'd go back to square one where I never used to go out before. Because without them, you've, you've got no, I've got no confidence and no mobility. So it's pretty amazing that for most people, a dog is their pet. But for you, it's a whole other kind of relationship. It's proper teamwork, isn't it? The bond between us has to be that little bit special because she's looking after me and I'm looking after her. Louise with that lovely report and 